Yeah, actually, um, you mentioned you you kind of start off with the Nikon system. Do you nowadays? Do you have a preferred camera or system to shoot, or you, you've kind of stuck with Nikon because of familiarity? What do you do now? Well, I'm not doing a lot of photography, which is sad. Um, and there's limitations being living here in Mexico. My wife uh, is a teacher for the German government, and she got a transfer here about three years ago. And um, I sort of got, I, I had no choice. I mean, I've had my experiences traveling internationally, and I mm -hmm. thought she deserved to have her try at it to become an expat. So I moved here, but my agency is Zuma Press out of San Diego. So I haven't done much for them in a while. Uh, I hope to uh, do more, but I'm pretty, I'm kind of locked in here. I've got a dog, I've got to, uh, I'm working on other things, uh, possibly two big projects in the future that I hope will work out. And, uh, you know, I'll be 68 in August. So it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, I'm slowing down a bit and things are hurting that didn't hurt before, things like that. <laughs> So I'm sorry, what was your question again? That's the other problem is trying to remember things. Oh, no, that's okay. I get hit and had a lot. I got that too. No, just uh, what you prefer to, to shoot on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, well, I started out with Nikon. and I remember having battles with other students. Well, Canon's the best. I'm the Canon guy. You know, I'm a Nikon guy. I'm like, what's the best camera? We take, you know, we always had these stupid arguments. But it's not, it's about the picture, not the cameras. Mm -hmm. and, and I just love Nikon. I always loved it. I love the glass. The FTN was a fantastic camera when it came out. But the F2, to me, is the best, one of the best cameras ever made. And then later on, when I could afford it, I switched to Leicas. And I still use Leica, like um, M7s. And I got some uh, Leica R8s. And um, Triax has gone from a dollar a roll, I think, now to $14 a roll. Mm. So it's kind of slowed things down a bit. There's not a lot of clients out there that are going to bankroll you on Triax. Yeah. But I do. Uh I some of my best images have been with black and white Tri-X. Uh, I love it. I love the, the camera and the film. I was just going to ask you that. Um, I watched a YouTube video the other day about a guy that was talking about this uh, gear acquisition syndrome or whatever you want to call it, where people think they have to get the next upgrade to the next best camera. They have to get the most expensive. The new lens comes out. they got to get that lens. And he said back in the day, people would just get, find a camera that they liked that they got familiar with. And that was their, that was their camera. They would never upgrade unless it broke or whatever the case was. He said, what really contributed to a photographer's look was the type of film that they use. And photographers would find a particular type of film that they liked, whether it was color black and white, but it did what they wanted it to do. And they kind of stuck with that. And it, I hear you saying as Triax was the film that you like to work with. Oh, Triax is classic. It just has a, that, that grain structure, especially with Leica glass. It's amazing. Um, I wish I had the picture. I don't know if I posted it. Um, I believe since uh, Instagram took me down, almost 9,000 followers, no reason given, but I imagine uh, they don't like news photos. Mm. And that's what they do for a living. <clears throat> so um, if you go to uh, my uh, uh, Facebook Jeff Wenner, Facebook, uh, I've got public and I've got private, it's the same. Uh, you'll find the picture that was taken in Italy. It was the last black and white uh, Leica image I took about three years ago. And uh, to me, when I made that trip to Italy, my whole goal was to get one great image. Now, saying that is kind of like, great images don't grow on trees. Mm. But I guess I, I have a, enough confidence some people call it ego. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm pretty confident that it give me a few days and I'm going to come up with something that's pretty good. This thing is classic. It's a wedding that happened. And I think I was using a, uh, a Leica M7 with a 50 millimeter Sumitar. This is an older lens that has incredible spatial depth to it. It was the blue coating. Now, for some of you guys, you're not going to care about the technical part of it. But it does make a difference sometimes in the quality and the type of look. And so the guy's walking in front in a tuxedo and he's smoking a cigarette. The bride is behind walking, lifting her skirt up because she's walking through water with high heel shoes. And in the background, you see these guys having, the, you know, in this outdoor cafe. And it's just classic. And I got one great shot. The rest of it's crap. And I, don't, I mean, <laughs> listen, shooting rangefinders is not easy, it's very difficult. Uh, Cartier-Bresson and um, 
you know, all these uh, these classic shooters, Elliot Erwitt, I mean, um, it, it's, it's very difficult. Uh -huh.